revealing your identity right now. Why are you doing that and why haven't you before? So the reality is that I think most Twitter accounts are anonymous yes. to start with. Yes. Unless you're a public uh, official or, you know, a fake. A, a fake unless you have the verification. Fake, <laughs> well, not anymore. Yeah, Elon right. That. But until Elon uh, changed that, you know, most most Twitter accounts start off anonymous, uh, as, as did mine. Um, and then I, you know, when my account started growing, I realized the hatred um, that the left has and their violent nature. And I was like, I'm going to remain anonymous. Yes. Um, as my account was growing and, and getting more effective. Um, and I have remained anonymous until now. Um, well, until I was, I was doxxed, my, my name was shared. Um, my location was shared. My, my photo was never shared, though I've never done any in-person events. Um, and I'm choosing to do that now because I feel like I, over the past few months, um, I've done so much. I've helped educate people. Um, I know that I, I have helped create legislation um, yes. to tackle some of these issues. And um, I, I think I've done all I can and I am ready for the next step. I get people asking me, I have mom groups asking me all the time, um, can you come help us? Um, I get in invitations you know, to, to, help, to help people understand how to, how to expose the left and, and yes. how to fight it. And you know, being anonymous was sort of keeping me, um, really, I was restrained from, from doing all those things. And I, I'm ready to do that. Um, I think that I'll be a lot more effective when I'm not so anonymous anymore. Um, and I'm excited. I already have a couple of speaking engagements planned for the next few months. Good. Um, and, you know, hopefully there will be more, but I want to do all I can um, and, and help people to fight this agenda. Uh, and I'm glad that you are. I think it's an act of bravery. Um, and you've had a remarkable effect. And I just want to say, and I'll say this another 10 times because I think it's the most interesting part about you. You haven't really editorialized very much. What you've done essentially is bring to light bring to further light to publicize what they're already saying in public that's your crime yeah exactly they don't they don't want it to be shown though to certain audiences they they want their their content out there but but they don't want us to see it so it, it doesn't really add up no it doesn't add up and they have no valid complaint against you right you haven't violated anyone's privacy you're posting what they put on TikTok. <laughs> they're allowed to post it but we're just not let to notice the crime is noticing what they're doing yes that's always the crime, yeah. isn't it? Um, so I think you've done an amazing thing, and unlike so many other people in journalism, and I am going to, whether you like it or not, describe you as being in journalism, because I think you are. In the I think I sense. am, too. Um, you've had an effect, a real effect, by bringing this to light. How did you wind up, do I mean, to the extent you're comfortable sharing it, like, how did you wind up doing this? You, I assume you went to Columbia Journalism School to become a journalist? <laughs> I went to Harvard and Yale. Um, <laughs> um, thank God I didn't, though, um, because those are now, obviously, those institutions are all poisoned. Um, but so it started really during COVID. Um, I was noticing um, all of this content that was being published on TikTok, um, and I was just like, this is crazy. Wait, like, but what, at this point, you're not in a related field. Like you weren't. No. In, you're no. not doing anything related to public policy or journalism. Nothing related to politics, journalism. No. Media, Were you nothing. very political? No. Really? I was not. Yeah. This COVID was like the other day. This was just a couple of years ago. Yeah, this was two years ago. Well, my account started two years ago. Yeah. That's just, that, that's just incredible. You can have this effect this quickly. So you're not. A super political person. You're not watching people's speeches on C-SPAN. <laughs> no, no. You're just a normal person stuck inside. Exactly. And then, and then COVID happened. And and I think that COVID, um, for me, and I and I think for a lot of people, it really woke people up. Um, and it was sort of it was like an awakening. Um, either you can stay um, like sleeping, you know, not really interested in in what's going on in, in our government. Or you can choose to get to get involved, um, and I think COVID really drew a lot of people in just because of all of the insanity that was going on and, and that was being imposed on us. Our rights were being violated, um, and I was like, and that was really a, that was really a turning point for me um, to 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 get involved and, and to be interested. And then um, 
COVID also is when TikTok started becoming big because everyone was stuck at home looking for entertainment. And then they stumbled on TikTok and we started seeing all those videos of, of, of nurses, you know, dancing in hospitals during, during the pandemic. Um, and I was like, you know, TikTok was, was getting really big. And I was like, oh, you know, let me, let me see what, what this TikTok thing is all about. And then I, I stumbled upon this whole, um, this whole platform with, with all of, I mean, all of the stuff, you know, everyone I'm sure has seen some of the videos. It, it's just, there's so much more. And I was like, I just, I need to disseminate this. Like this, it, this it's just so bizarre and, and dangerous. And I was like, I just need the, as many people to see this as possible. And in, 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 in large part, not exclusively, but there was a lot of adults bragging about sexualizing children. Yes, a lot, um, specifically teachers. Um, there are also just parents, activists, doctors. Um, that is the most scary part about it, and that's what my account focuses on a lot now. Gosh, what, what an interesting conversation. I hope her stepping out inspires others to do, this, to do the same, step out and speak the truth. You can stream Tucker's full conversation with Haya Rachik right now on Fox Nation. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. From Tucker Carlson tonight.